wanting to know uh, just uh, exactly what is going on with these people that are marching up and down the street. So here you see uh, some of the people uh, praising God, some of those that marched, uh, some of the WMB ladies uh, marching here uh, on their way back to uh, the local church. And this is one of the little girls during one of the skits that they had representing the Bride of Christ. Just a continual outpouring of, of the Spirit of God during the services, uh, during the altar calls. Uh, this next picture, you'll see some of the pastors of the local churches in the country of Guatemala. Uh, some of the children singing uh, and also using some form of uh, sign language uh, to transmit their message. our national uh, overseer uh, and his family uh, handed out some uh, gifts and presents for headquarters representatives. And in these pictures you will also see not only Brother Manuel Castro but also his family, his daughters, his wife and Brother Saul Delgado in the middle from Nicaragua. In this picture you will also see Brother Manuel Castro's uh, son wearing the black. The National Overseer for the country of El Salvador, Bishop Ronaldo Acosta, for a long time had been praying along with the people from uh, the other countries. The only country that had not been reached in Central America where the church was not established was El Salvador. But on this occasion, on the most recent trip to Central America, uh, these are pictures of some of the people that came in from uh, another church into the Church of God, along with uh, three pastors, uh, one pastor's wife, and another uh, sister who became a member of the church for a total of, of five members, with one church in the city of San Salvador, uh, the country of El Salvador. And here, in some of these, you can see some of the services and the pictures of some of those pastors uh, that were present in the meeting and at the services, along with some of the other people. A lot of potential for the Church of God in this country. This is a visit that Brother Juan Pimentel, along with uh, Brother Camil, made to some of the, the regions uh, that are border between uh, Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Uh, Brother Juan went there to visit some of the people that uh, had been calling uh, for the church to go there and, and bring them in as members into the Church of God. They were in a denominational church but on this occasion and some of the visits that they made there they, they took these pictures of some of the people that were desiring to come uh, to the Church of God now some of these people were already members but a great number of them were not members and the pictures that you see of a lot of the children or some of the orphanages that uh, brother Camille works with in order to minister to these children and their family. And here you see uh, plenty of hands being placed on the Bible as the covenant is being administered. Brother Juan Pimentel and Brother Camille ministering to these people, bringing them into the church by way of the covenant. And that's what you see in these pictures here on this occasion. Uh, it was well over 150 people that joined the church. Brother Juan speaks of the, the poverty uh, that the people are, are living in, in this part of the, the country. In these pictures you begin to see Brother Juan also visiting the uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, and even uh, in some of these pictures, uh, uh, visiting uh, Puerto Rico where Brother Juan Pimentel is also national overseer while they're conducting services.
one of the ministers uh, preaching a message. And then you have the sisters that were singing songs, praise God. And one of the newer members in the Dominican Republic here, in the covenant being ministered to him. This is one of our pastors in the Dominican Republic. And uh, this brother uh, here, he also serves as a translator uh, for uh, Haiti from Creole to Spanish or Spanish to Creole and also to English. And these are just some of the services where people are being blessed, children uh, singing songs. And Brother Juan Pimentel has a certain hour where he broadcasts over the radio in the country of Dominican Republic who preaches the gospel. And this is uh, one of the local churches with the banner printed on the front there. This is our general coordinator for the VLB's first trip out of the country. And it was during the National Youth Convention that they actually called uh, the great National Youth Convention. And in these pictures, you'll see uh, Brother Dustin Hayes administering the covenant to some of those that were brought into the church uh, during the convention. Uh, the people were really excited to have uh, their general coordinator out in their country. Uh, just uh, overwhelmingly uh, happy uh, to have that, that opportunity. And, and the young people just really seem to to enjoy the time of, of prayer and worship um, and also the, the preaching of the Word of God. And this was during one of the marches they were having. Um, some of the ministers and we begin to see the pictures of uh, all the VLB coordinators in this country together with our uh, general VLB coordinator. In the Dominican Republic, we were able to conduct a BTI along with the National Convention. And these are some of the students, ministers, pastors that you see. In this picture, they were having what they call a harvest march, where the different local churches would march through these fruit uh, in representation of the new people that were one to the Lord. Uh, perhaps uh, some new members added to the church. And that's what this fruit here represented, and that's what the march was about. In the evening time, we would have the convention services. Some of the people in this following picture are people from the Haiti area. And this is some of the food that was enjoyed. It was the end of the convention. The certificates were handed out by our general overseer, Bishop Stephen Smith. And here we have a picture of all the students. The country of Haiti was devastated, no doubt, with the earthquake that happened earlier this year. You can see a lot of the destruction that happened due to the, the earthquake. It seemed like uh, people just wandering around, trying to get their hands on whatever they could that would help them and their families. And you see some of the makeshift tents that they were having to live in. And we have our general headquarters representatives, Bishop Bard and Bishop Dupree, traveling there to meet with the pastors uh, to give out some uh, financial aid for basic and necessary things like food and water and here we have uh, some of the ministers and uh, pastors meeting with them Bishop Juan Pimentel from Dominican Republic was able to travel with them on, on this occasion and in our return to Haiti 
uh, some of the pictures of of the church buildings that uh, were broken down. Uh, we were able to visit with some of the pastors and look at some of the uh, local church buildings uh, where they had been uh, holding services at. Here's one of the pastors of the local church. Here's a picture with some of the other pastors that were also there. The Church of God still represented in this country. And these are some of the people of those uh, local churches that we were able to visit. And some of the families. And here is where some of our uh, people are presently holding and conducting their services inside this uh, tent building where they, where they praise and worship God. And try to do the best they can to move forward. 